Herd immunity is when a large proportion of a population or community, which is the herd, becomes immune to a disease either through vaccination or through um, actually having developed an immunity because they had the disease themselves. And so when they say herd immunity, it means that there's less opportunity for that um, disease to spread within the community so that the community itself then becomes immune. But I think what is one way to think about it differently is that the community itself isn't immune, the community is just more protected. One of the, um, I guess, kind of analogies is because I have children and it seems so long ago that we went to a fair or an amusement park, but this idea of like the bumper cars and every time you start to try to get some traction, you bump into someone else and you stop. And then you go another way and you try to go a little bit further and you bump into someone and then you stop. So each time that virus tries to make, to gain some traction, it, if it bump, continues to bump into people who have developed some immunity, then it really doesn't have an opportunity to make that spread from person to person. Because this is a new virus and disease, there's still some unknowns. Some of the estimates that have come up recently, with COVID especially, if 70 to 80 percent um, of the population, which is more than 200 million people, are able to develop some immunity, then that would be what is considered herd immunity or co community protection, which is quite a few folks. Um, but with the vaccine efforts that are happening now, um, that is a realistic goal. But I think one of the things that we want to clear up is that just because people are get, there's widespread vaccination doesn't mean that we can just stop doing all of the things that we've been doing. So summer, optimistic, fall, maybe more realistic, but there's so many factors that go into it that can <laughs> make it sooner or later, depending on what's happening.